I'm going to talk a little bit about the science of soap, simple things like the science of soap and the power of soap, this idea of washing your hands that you're told is a kindergarten days is not trivial as it relates to this disease. It's not trivial as it relates to not overwhelming the healthcare system. And it's not trivial in, in terms of exponentially spreading this disease. The purpose of this presentation was not only to try and allay fears, but also to provide information that we as a community and as a nation can actually control. So I really feel it was important for me to speak about the science of soap. Because we can not only control, we can prevent the spread. I'll, I'll speak a little bit about how long does the viruses last on, services, on the surfaces, with the surfaces of your hand or surfaces of your computer, your phone, and how we can do containment. Lessons we could learn from China. And then we'll speak a little bit about the role of testing, lessons we can learn from Korea. I recognize that we are in a little bit of a bind because of the lack of testing. But I think what we are, what, what we can do now is understand that perhaps even without testing, we can now control and prevent the spread. So let me speak about the science of soap. The viruses are not bacteria. So antibacterial soap is a myth in, as it relates to killing the viruses because it has this fatty, greasy layer on its, as an envelope, loves getting onto surfaces that will, to which it will adhere, such as your hand. So your hand is a vector. But if you took this vector of the hand and understood the science of soap, where the virus has this fatty layer and the skin is the surface, detergent, straightforward, regular detergent, dishwasher fluid, hair shampoo, detergent, soap, acts as a surfactant, what does that mean? It actually goes and orientates itself, these soap particles, towards the fatty layer of the virus. And in so doing, it actually orientates and lifts off these viruses and creates this clean surface. So we have the ability to understand that the science of soap, its natural ability to act as a detergent, the ability, the reason why you need at least 20 seconds, because your hands have nooks and crannies. You need the detergent to enter onto and create this interaction with the virus. You then need to rub and wash because you need it to be lift, lifted from the surfaces. However, what's exciting about this virus is because it is a enveloped virus. And that, by the way, is its Achilles heel. Because what does the soap do? The soap has an ability to crack that envelope. And if it cracks that envelope, you're able to kill that virus. So each one of us has the ability to be washing your hands and cracking that envelope and preventing the spread. This is the power and the science of soap. What have we learned from Korea? Well, it turns out to prevent the overwhelming of the healthcare system, and in fact, to protect healthcare workers, one can do drive-by testing. And I think this is a national initiative which we should take on and learn this experience from Korea. What have we learned from China? China has taken the draconian step of containment. We are unfortunately beyond that point now. And so we are now left then, therefore, with the opportunity to control it, at least within your control, of actually taking on the power and the science of soap.